As a personal stylist, it is my job to know where and how to shop, especially when it comes to plus size women. Today, I'm going to share with you my ultimate brand guide for plus size fashion. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Oralia, and as I mentioned in the opening, I am a personal stylist and my passion in life is to help plus size women look and feel their absolute best. I believe that everyone deserves to look and feel beautiful regardless of age or size. Today, I am going to be sharing with you my secrets, the places that I love to shop at, and why. This guide is to help you to Find places to shop that provide quality clothing for plus size women so that you don't feel trapped in shopping at places like Shein, Fashion Nova, or Boohoo, or those types of places. There are quite a few retailers out there actually, especially in the US, that do provide a wonderful selection of extended sizing or plus sizing. And when I work with clients, I always recommend quality over quantity. And so a lot of these retailers are a little bit higher end, but that's because this is where I would shop for my own clients. When I work with clients, a basic rule of thumb that we use when we talk about clothing budget is that your clothing budget should be three to 5% of your annual income. So depending on how much money you get annually, that's gonna determine where you're gonna go looking for your clothes or what you're going to actually look for so that you're putting your money in the best piece possible that is gonna last you the longest, regardless of what your budget is. Keep that in mind as you shop or you're thinking about your clothing budget budget. Doing a refresh in your wardrobe, meaning um, maybe taking some things out and putting a few new things in, should be done at the most frequent on a quarterly basis. Maybe monthly, but only if you're buying one piece here or there. I wouldn't suggest doing a shopping spree a month because you're gonna go broke if you do that. This is the advice that I would give a client. Now on YouTube, I'm constantly hauling, but it's not that I expect you to buy everything in the haul. It is my job to shop. You may see that I have a lot of clothes, but I am the exception, not the rule. Because I am a personal stylist and I am also a fashion content creator here on YouTube, I do have more clothes than the average woman. I don't want you to feel like you need to keep up with someone like me. You actually shouldn't. I am casting a wide net and I am looking to you to pull in those little nuggets that fit into your own wardrobe. Not the entire haul, but a few things here and there. It is my job also as a personal stylist to make shopping easy for you. When I work with a client, I walk away from that client hoping that I have helped them to understand how to shop for themselves. And my job, of course, is to make shopping easy on that client by client basis. However, here on YouTube, my job is also to help making shopping easy for you. Um, I'm doing all of the buying and trying for you so that you don't have to. And I use Like to Know It, that is my primary platform because I feel that that is one of the easiest ways to shop. They are a shopping platform, they're not a social platform. So when you go into Like to Know It, you're actually going in to shop. You're going in to see what's what, get outfit inspiration, you know, maybe buy something from one of the influencers that uses the platform. And so that's why I'm always talking about Like to to know it because it is a one-stop shop. It is a place where you can see all of the outfits that I bring together as well as other influencers. So I would urge you to download the app. It is absolutely free and shop through the app because they've got a lot of really great features like when you like something, meaning you heart it, it will give you sale alerts, which is awesome. So you may not wanna buy some, want some of these pieces at full price, but you definitely wanna know if they go on sale and like to know it when you go in and, and you you favorite something, it will let you know when that something has gone on sale. Utilize Like to Know It because it is one of the easiest shopping platforms that is out there. I think it's probably the only one. Well, no, they, there are a few others, but for me personally, I really like them because there's just so much selection in Like to Know It because so many influencers use it. I am not playing favorites. 
what I've decided to do is I'm going to go in alphabetical order. I don't remember exactly how many retailers I have, but there are a few and I know I've done a lot of talking. So let's go ahead and dive in. The first one that I want to recommend is Abercrombie and Fitch. Not everything at Abercrombie and Fitch comes in extended or plus sizes. They do offer up to a size 24 in pants, which is awesome. They do have 2XL in other sizes. One of the really cool things I like about Abercrombie and Fitch though, is that they offer their clothing in lengths. They offer it in extra short, short, regular, tall, extra tall in some cases. So nothing has really been scaled down other than the length of the, of the garment or maybe even the length of the sleeves. That's about it. They don't scale things down for a smaller bone structure. They just make it shorter, which is awesome. I've tried a few things from them, but where they excel is in trousers and in their jeans. I think that they have got a really, really great denim selection. And I think that their trousers are really good too. I haven't had an opportunity to try their blazer. So maybe those are really good as well. I will continue to shop Abercrombie and Fitch and find out, you know, what's what for jeans and trousers. They do very well. And I would say, go ahead and give them a try for other things too. Then we have got anthropology. So anthropology does not have everything in plus size, but they do have a large plus size selection and it is a true blue plus size selection. They have really, really beautiful pieces, but they are very boho leaning. So for those of you ladies out there who have asked me, can you do boho style? Well, I personally am not boho. So it just, I don't feel that it would look right on me. However, I can recommend anthropology to you because they do lean heavily into those boho kind of pieces and they're going to look really, really beautiful. And they're going to be very well made because I do have one thing, actually, no, I lie. I have two things in anthropology and I love them both. They're very nicely made. They are really great clothing and you are gonna get what you pay for with them. They really do have a really nice quality for the money. The next place is Aritzia. So with Aritzia, not everything is available in extended sizing. They do go up to about an 1820 about. Uh, they do a 2XL. They do offer really well-made tailored pieces. They make beautiful dresses and they also make beautiful skirts. Two of my favorite skirts are from Aritzia. They are the twirl skirt, those, chiff those pleated chiffon skirts that you see me wear. I have one in navy and one in black and I love them because I just love how they float. I love how they look. I love how they make me feel. Um, they're very, very beautiful and really very, very well-made. I know that Aritzia is known for their blazers and their trousers and they do carry some of their styles in up to a 2XL and they are a true 2XL. They are a true 1820. So there's at least that. So Aritzia is another option for you, especially if you're looking for suiting. Now you guys know I'm a huge fan of Banana Republic. I love Banana Republic so much because I really over the years have shopped there and their pieces are always so good and they always last for a long time. I especially like their merino wool. Most of their pieces do come in extended sizing, whether it's a 2XL or a size 20 pant, which I would say in some cases runs small. So it is about a size 18. They have really great pieces in a very beautiful classic style. Everything is constructed really, really well. And I feel that they are definitely a place to look for, look at if you haven't, especially if you want to have that classic tailored, sophisticated style and you want pieces like that. They are just really, really great in that respect. They do push the boundaries a little bit. You know, they're not not just, you know, really kind of in a box. They do push outside that box in some cases. They try different silhouettes. They try different shapes. They carry cashmere. They carry silk. They carry merino wool. Then we have Banana Republic Factory, which is a smaller price point or a lower price point than Banana Republic. They've got a slightly different selection, but the selections at Banana Republic Factory are very much in the same vein as those of Banana Republic. They're not quite the same, but they come close. And the fabric contents are actually pretty comparable. They, I would say maybe Banana Republic Factory has a slightly lesser fabric content, like 
Banana Republic, you can find things in 100% linen, and the linen is really thick and really substantial, whereas with Banana Republic Factory, you would find like a linen blend. Not quite as thick, not quite as substantial, but still very, very beautiful and still at a really great price point. So if you're not willing to pay what Banana Republic is charging, then you can go to Banana Republic Factory and find something very similar. They also have the same, the same uh, sizing model, so they come up to a 2XL and they come up to a size 20 in pants. I will say that it is harder to find the extended sizes at Banana Republic factory than it is at Banana Republic. I don't know if there's just not as much stock in those or maybe plus size women love to hit Banana Republic factory really hard and they, they buy out all of the 2XL pieces. Um, but I do find that I struggle to find the same uh inventory at Banana Republic factory than I can find at Banana Republic. Then we have Honey Love. Even though they're not a clothing company, I am mentioning Honey Love because I feel that shapewear is very important, especially when you're wearing dresses and things like that. What I love about Honey Love is that their shapewear is probably the most, well, not probably, it is the most comfortable shapewear that I have ever worn. And I have worn shapewear almost my entire life. I mean, I used to wear a Playtex girdle back when I was a teenager and we all know know what a torture device those things were. These are so stretchy, so comfortable. They move with you. I love the cami bodysuit. That's my favorite. And you know, it's got a built-in bra and you can wear it as an actual bodysuit underneath things or even on its own. I mean, I've even been tempted to wear mine as a swimsuit. They are just really, really well made, very comfortable. I do not know what sorcery is in that fabric, but it breathes well. Even during the summer, I wear my shapewear without any discomfort, unlike Spanx which uh, Spanx, I feel like it's sausage casing in some cases, as well as it's very hot, at least the Spanx that I wore back in the early millennium. Now I've got Honey Love and I haven't looked back. I really, really love Honey Love. There's something for pretty much everybody there. They've got different pieces. They've got uh, the cami bodysuit. They've got the cami bodysuit with the thigh, you know, the, the, the shorts. They've got the, you know, the ones that come up right under the bra that are shorts or not. You know, the they also have the, the kind that are a brief. They have got, um, camisoles, the you know, control camisoles or shapewear camisoles. Um, they sell bras, they sell underwear, they sell leggings now, I think. And I think they're venturing into PJs. They've got a lot of selection on their website. So that's why I'm bringing them up. Anytime that I'm trying dresses or skirts on for you guys, 99% of the time I've got my Honey Love shapewear on underneath it and I love it. J Crew does carry up to true plus sizes. They carry up to a size 24 and that is in most items, I would say. The construction and the fabrics are really, really good. I like J Crew's fabrics. I love their construction. They are really size inclusive and I have to applaud them for that. They are a good place for cashmere. I had great, but I have since come across another place where I like their cashmere. And they do a lot of natural fibers. They do have synthetic fibers in some of their stuff, but they also carry a lot of things that are in cotton, in silk, in cashmere, in wool, and merino wool, and so on and so forth. So they do have quite a selection. And I like them because they are that almost classic kind of clothing store where you can find really great wardrobe essentials and you can find things that are very much in that tailored classic style especially if that's your vibe they were one of the first i think old money brands that's out there they still have that kind of old money aesthetic about them they have never really lost that and i have to appreciate that i really like that then we have j crew factory which um i did an analysis of j crew and j crew factory i'll leave that video linked in the description bar below and i'll have it right here in the cards up here somewhere where I broke down the differences between J Crew and J Crew Factory. I ordered very similar things from both stores and compared the two. And honestly, I have to say there was very little difference between the two other than price point and marketing. I go into it all in that video, but J Crew Factory's quality is pretty similar to J Crew. The selection is also very similar. I will say that there are some differences uh, where you got J Crew that does a sweater in a certain style and J Crew 
Proof Factory has got one that is kind of like that style. And my microphone decided to die on me. I guess I was gabbing too much. All right, where was I? J. Crew, J. Crew Factory. I think that they're very, very comparable to one another. So if you don't want to pay the price point for J. Crew, then I would say go to J. Crew Factory because you're going to find pretty similar things there. I've got a lot of things in my closet from J. Crew Factory that I absolutely love that are of stupendous quality. It's just a matter of preference. And if what if you can find what they have on J. Crew on J. Crew Factory online, then you can uh, definitely use that as an option. The next retailer is Mango. Mango does not carry everything in their plus sizes and they are a true blue plus size. They do carry up to 4X in a lot of instances. Their sizing is a little confusing because they've got up to a 2XL in their standard sizing and then they've got a 1X, 2X, 3X, 4X in their plus sizes. They do provide you the ability to do a search on just plus size on their website. They actually have a dedicated plus size search that you can use in their pull down menu. So it makes things easier, but you can also filter by size, but you will be getting some of the 2XL things. Now at a size 18, 2XL fits in most cases, not all. So you have to be aware of that. I find that sometimes the sleeves are a little tight and I also find that sometimes the, the garment is a little tight in the 2XL. The sizing isn't 100% consistent, but they still do have quite a few offerings. Now, I will say that Mango is considered a high street brand. It is kind of in the same vein as Zara, as far as like being fast fashion, you know, high street. Everything that I have ever gotten from Mango has always been of really, really great quality. Even if it's not all natural fibers, they have a lot of recycled polyester pieces, things like that, but they do also carry uh, natural fibers. They will carry wool or wool blends. They have I think they might have some cashmere. Then so they have some offerings on their website that is that are really really great and everything like I said is made very well. Where I think Mango shines is in their coats, their blazers and in some of their dresses and their accessories. So I guess they shine in a lot of places. If I'm looking for outerwear, I'm definitely going to look at Mango. If I am looking for fashion, I also look to Mango because they do have some really nice things and their accessories. Their shoes and their handbags are very, very well made. I have not had a problem with any of my mango shoes or or bags that i've bought from them i think that they are of such great quality they're really nice they do a lot of designer inspired look for less kind of handbags and shoes and they're good i love them mango is one of the places that i do look at when i shop for clients because they have a fair good a fairly good selection and uh, especially when it comes to uh, those bigger pieces that are going to be a bit more of an investment but where we have like budget limitations or even if they've got a particular style that i really like so mango i recommend the next place is nordstrom and nordstrom is again one of those massive retailers they've got so many brands under their roof including their own house brands their house brands do carry up to a 2xl or some of them have dedicated plus sizing they also carry brands like city chic eloquy or they used to carry eloquy i don't know if they still do you can find a lot of variety at nordstrom and you can also get your shoes your beauty your home stuff i mean because they they really do everything there nordstrom is definitely one of those places that i take a look at for clients and pl a place that i like to shop not to mention the fact that nordstrom has got a really great loyalty program so if you become a part of the nordy club or if you open up one of their if you open up a nordstrom card or have a nordstrom card you can get points and you can can get free alterations you get notes uh, Nordstrom notes which means that you can spend money at Nordstrom um, and then you also get early access to their events like the anniversary sale there are things that you can partake in like trunk shows and stuff like that when you have the perks of being a Nordy Club member so they've got a pretty decent loyalty program the next retailer is Old Navy. So this is one of those places that is of a lower price point. The reason that I am including them though is because they are a part of the Gap family. And I didn't include the Gap because I haven't had as good luck with the Gap as I have with Banana Republic and Old Navy, but I digress. 
Old Navy is a part of the Gap family. I feel that for the price point, you can get some really great things at Old Navy, not to mention the fact that Old Navy carries their plus sizes in store. So if you don't want to do all of your shopping online, you can go in store and find some of their items. I like their selections. I think that their quality is not bad for the price point. You can find some really good gems at Old Navy. I know that I have picked up a few pieces there that have lasted me for five, six, seven years maybe. They do have a nice mix of fabrics but I wouldn't say that they are all natural they try you know they've got like linen blends they've got cotton blends you can find a lot of really nice pieces at Old Navy but they are going to be I think a little bit more on the trendy side but uh, there are some things that you can find that are you know uh, foundational pieces for your wardrobe but really I would direct someone to Old Navy to find something that's a little bit more trend led especially because it is a lower price point but if budget is an issue then you can find yourself some really great wardrobe essentials at Old Navy, like t-shirts and sweaters and things like that. And button down shirts are another um, good thing that they carry. And jeans, they have a lot of jeans. They've got trousers. They've got a good offering. It's just, it's not gonna be all natural fibers and um, it's not gonna be quite the same quality as Banana Republic, but along the same lines. So the next one that I'm going to mention is Quince. And this is a new ad with less than a week of having tried the brand. I am already inserting it into this list because it is so, so good. I was so incredibly impressed by Quince. Now their plus size offerings are true plus size. They go up to the 3XL. However, they are limited, very limited because I don't know if it's just that they're rolling it out, it's new and they're rolling it out or I'm not sure, but regardless, what they do have to offer the plus size segment is really, really great. The cashmere is really nice. The silk is really nice. The cotton sweater that I got, super nice. Tencel, really good. Construction, really great. And the price point, excellent. They've blown my mind. They truly have because they have really got some attainable luxury in the offerings that they have. Plus they sell jewelry, plus they sell handbags, plus they sell home, th home things. They sell luggage, you know, they have accessories. Accessories. Um, so they've got a wide range of things that they offer and they offer it at less than you can find at a lot of these luxury retailers. So uh, Quince has been added to the list of places to recommend to clients because it is such a great place to pick up your at least winter basics. I don't know what they'll have in, uh, as far as offerings during the spring and summer for plus size because they just recently started carrying plus size as far as I can tell. But for their winter things so far, they are scoring 10 for 10. I can't wait to see what else they have to offer as the seasons roll out and hopefully they will expand their plus size offerings. Then we have Ralph Lauren and Ralph Lauren's website is a really interesting one because the, he's got many levels to his offerings. You've got Lauren by Ralph Lauren, which is his most attainable line. Then you've got Polo by Ralph Lauren. And then you've got like Ralph Lauren, you got the Ralph Lauren collection. So you've got different tiers, but they're all combined on the website. You can find them all on one website. However, they do have a plus size selection. So when you go into their website, you look at their menu, they do have a dedicated plus size link that will take you to everything that they have that comes in plus size. And I think that that's awesome. And he's got a lot of really great, again, like J. Crew. you know, he's like one of the OG old money designers. And so there's a lot of that influence in his offerings. He does have a lot of equestrian driven type offerings and they are very timeless they are very classic and they are very well made even the lauren by ralph lauren is incredibly well made i know that i once bought just a plain blue t-shirt that was a three-quarter sleeve and i was like beside myself because the quality of that shirt was so far removed from the quality I was getting like at Target. And I was like, whoa, there is a definite difference here in quality. The, the cotton was thicker, the stitching was better. The shirt lasted me way, 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 way longer than anything that I got from Target and Walmart. That's when I learned the difference between 
a mass retailer like Target and a uh, you know, retailer like Ralph Lauren. He's got other options available and not to mention his belts. His belts are also very nice. So he's got a really nice lineup of things that are geared to the plus size body. So I would absolutely recommend Ralph Lauren because I think that if you uh, have a bigger budget to shop with, meaning, you know, that your, your three to 5% is higher then Ralph Lauren is definitely a place to look at if you're looking for something that's a bit more elevated and a little bit more expensive to match the budget that you actually have. The next place is Reformation. So Reformation is on the pricey side. Not everything is available in extended or plus sizes. They do carry up to a size 24. I really like Reformation because they carry really good fabrics and they have really, really great construction. Reformation started out being a sustainable brand in that they used to use dead stock fabric. If you don't know what dead stock fabric is, it's like fabric that places other retailers would order and wouldn't use up the entire batch of fabrics. And so they resell it. And Reformation was one of those buyers. And they used to make things that were very limited because they would make a silhouette and sometimes it would come out in a printed fabric or in a certain fabric and it would be limited quantity because they had gotten some dead stock fabric that they were using up. I don't know that they have that practice in place anymore. However, they are a very highly sustainable brand. I am subscribed to their quarterly environmental newsletter where they talk about the different things that they are doing to become carbon neutral, to become more sustainable. And they have high marks because they are doing a very good job of that. And they also are taught, they talk in that uh, newsletter about their um, diversity and inclusion efforts. And so I think that they have taken big strides in bridging a gap that they had in diversity and inclusion. I really like Reformation because like I said, the quality of their product is really good. The fabrics are really beautiful. The cuts are very nice, but I will say that the cuts are very tight to the body. They have a lot of beautiful pieces of clothing and they have expanded their plus size lineup over the year. So they did start out really small with only a few things that they offered in plus size and they have expanded it significantly over the last couple of years. So they are making an effort at least to provide at some of their pieces in a plus size offering. I do wish that they would do their entire line, but you know, it takes time, I suppose. They have a lot of really beautiful, very romantic dresses, especially, but they do carry uh, trousers. They carry button down shirts. You know, they've got all kinds of different offerings for plus size, but really they excel in their dresses. I think their dresses are very, very beautiful, very feminine, very sexy. And I love that. The next retailer is Talbot's. So Talbot's is a recent rediscovery for me. I used to shop at Talbot's all the time years ago, and then I stopped and I'm back with Talbot's. They have most everything in plus size and they also offer plus petite. It's a shorter, slightly scaled down version of their offerings for plus size. So that is amazing. I love that because I don't have to have sleeves altered. I don't have to have hems altered in some cases. They go up to a 3X or a 24. They do have great construction and great quality of fabrics, but you do need to be careful shopping at Talbot's because they do have some pieces that can look matronly, that can be in the frumpy category. So you just have to be mindful of what you're shopping for. Stick to the basics, stick to the classic. If you're buying a pattern from Talbot's, I would take a close look at that pattern and make sure that it is something that doesn't look nondescript is what I call it. It's a pattern that's kind of just like meh, you know, you want to be very careful shopping there. Stick to the classics, stick to the basics, and you can't go wrong there because they do have a lot of really beautiful things. Okay, so next is Walmart, another big box store, and I included them because they actually do have a lot of really great pieces, mostly from Free Assembly. There are some things from Scoop, there are some things from Sofia Vergara, but really Free Assembly is the brand that I like the most because I think that they put more care and they are at least attempting to be sustainable. And so they are definitely one that I like to buy, that I have found most success with, that I feel is the most durable and the best made. So that's why one Walmart is on the list. Just know that um, some things from Walmart are not going to last the long haul. They're just not constructed 
in such a way that they will. I think free assembly is going to be your best bet where longevity is concerned. In most cases, free assembly has only really been around for a few years, maybe three years, I think, maybe four years that I'm aware of. Just keep that in mind that they really haven't been tried and tested yet for longevity. But I suspect because of the construction that you see with free assembly and the fabrics, they can probably hold up for the long haul. I would say that they're definitely better than H&M. Now about H&M, I did not include them in this list because I have been very disappointed in H&M recently. I feel that their quality is not as good as they used to be. You can find some gems. I have found a couple of pieces from H&M that are really well made, but those are few and far in between. You are really hard put to try and find something at H&M that's gonna be of really superior quality, of superior fabrics. Um, they tend to do a lot of greenwashing, I think, and everything it seems like lately that they carry is like recycled polyester, which is just polyester. I am also very disappointed in H&M because I recently did a haul of their premium line, I think is what it's called, and they don't carry plus sizes in the premium line. They don't even carry extended sizes in the premium line. And so I was pretty disappointed. Now I did find a beautiful pair of patent leather loafers and they are 100% leather loafers that I am in love with. So that, like I said, there are some gems in there. You just have to dig and you have to dig and you have to dig. It's hard to find them. It really is. But every now and again, you will stumble upon one. I have one brand here that I want to try in the upcoming year and that is Karen Millen. Karen Millen does have a dedicated plus size section on her website. I think where she shines is in event wear. You know, if you need a dress for an event and you want something beautiful and unique, I would look at Karen Millen because I think that she has got some really beautiful pieces in her plus size lineup. She also has some career pieces in there that I would be interested in trying. Now, I'm not 100% sure about her sizing because she is a UK brand and the sizing might be a little off. So I'm not sure if it's truly plus size. I am going to be giving, giving Karen Millen a try here soon so that I can see what she's all about to see if the sizing is actually true plus sizing or if it's plus size for the UK folks. I mean, they offer US sizing and it looks like it's plus sizing, but I'm not 100% sure. So that is a brand that I will be trying here pretty soon. You know that I'm gonna post a video about it if I do try it, whether it turns out successful or not. But that is one of the brands that I am interested in trying. Some of her pieces can be a little over the top, but there are some in there that are actually quite good that I am very interested in. So that is a brand that is on the horizon. So keep an eye on that. This is actually the first video to my glow up series. I will have my most recent video here for you so you can keep watching. I'll also have the playlist down here once it is developed. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate it. And I hope to see you in those videos. Bye.